Hey friends, so it looks like I have a pretty big grocery haul. I was going to try to add this into my daily vlog, but I think it's too big. So I'm going to do a separate video for you guys. Um, I have scanned and checked the nutritional info on everything. Um, public service announcement, if you use the Weight Watchers app, everything or a lot of things um, are changing in point value. And I don't know why um, we've been discussing it in our Facebook group and everybody has noticed that even things that they are used to eating and eat all of the time um, are changing in points. And I have noticed a huge difference in the app um, with all the vegan food. Almost every single vegan food I enter is wrong. The nutritional info is wrong. And these are Weight Watcher inputted entries. Now, I know that the regular food, if your regular food has changed, I believe it must be a change with the food itself, but be checking your nutritional info because it seems like a lot of things are not right right now. So I did scan everything that I have here and check on the nutritional facts to make sure that the number I'm giving you is correct. So I'm going to flip you around and get started, so I'll be right back. Okay guys, so here's just a pan over. There's a lot of stuff and I didn't realize how much stuff I actually bought. Um, and you will notice that there's not a whole lot of produce on this table. Um, we are going to our local farmer's market tomorrow, so I did not buy a lot of produce, only produce that was really good price at the store and that I know I will eat if we get extras. So. I start over here, I left this over here. Um, I am going to make chicken for my kids and my husband tonight for supper. So I bought some chicken. And on that, I found this crunchy pretzel, which I had never seen this flavor before. We always buy this one, the Parmesan one. And everybody in my family really likes it. It is one smart point. Um, when you scan it, it says for one-eighth of the package, but actually up to one-quarter of the package is still one point. So even if you only did four pieces of chicken like I had and use everything, it's still only one point for the breading. And the same with this one, which is I'm going to do for supper. And I think what I'm going to do, I did buy cubed and now I'm wishing that I didn't. Um, hold on. I bought some tofu and it's cubed and I think what I'm going to do is dry it off and bread it with this also um, so I can eat some for supper. In the future I will try to find um, just ones I can cut but I bought the, to the cubed specifically for a recipe that had it in that shape so I figured why not. I wasn't really thinking at that point. Um, I bought my kids some peanut butter. So yeah, that's the same on the points. One smart point for an eighth or up to a quarter. So there's that. I got, our store runs these local sales. Um, sorry, my mind is blanking. Like if you buy so many items throughout the store that have the same tag, then everything is cheaper. Like it was mix and match six in our store this week. So if you bought six items, each item went to $1.88. So I got two cans of coffee. We normally buy the big jugs of coffee, um, but they were not on sale and these were, so they were $1.88 a piece, which is awesome. I got some apple cider vinegar. I got a can of garbanzo beans. I'm gonna try and make my own falafel this weekend. If I do make it, I will do a recipe video on it. Um, I got some black beans. Some cauliflower. Cauliflower was 88 cents for any head that you could find. So I found the highest, the biggest one they had. <laughs> I got some water. We are going on a family trip with my mom and my brothers and everybody on Monday. So I got some water. These are peaches. I think we got three of those. Three peppers. These were. 88 cents a piece, so I got three of those. I bought some of the Joseph's pitas for my falafel. One whole pita is only one point. 
I got three, I think these are the Anjou pears, two kiwis, two avocados, a green apple for my son that he hates, but he asks for one every time we go to the store, and then he takes one bite and doesn't eat it. Um, the Pure Via, this is what I use in my coffee, and as a non-calorie sweetener, this is the one I like the best. Some garlic. I bought Thomas, Thomas um, products were buy one get one free. Um, I obviously will not be eating the cinnamon raisin ones. They are too high. They are eight smart points and I'm sure in one way or the other there is some kind of, well, maybe not. I was say, I would think that there would be butter or something in them, but there's not. They're eight points. So I bought some plain ones for me. Um, these are three smart points. I bought two baking potatoes. I think I'm going to actually have one of these for lunch with some broccoli and uh, vegan cheese on it, but I haven't quite gotten there yet. I got a nub of ginger. I don't know where that liquid is coming from. I picked up some Earth Balance um, butter spread. This is a vegan butter. It's pretty high. It's three smart points for one tablespoon. But one teaspoon is one point, so I think that would be fine if I ever wanted to put it like on vegetables or something. Just one, one teaspoon would be enough. Same with the vegan mayonnaise. After I go back to eating meat and eggs, I will go back to eating regular mayonnaise. Um, I'll still be dairy free, but if I'm going to eat eggs, I might as well eat mayonnaise. But this is the Just Mayo. It is... Uh, egg free, dairy free, gluten free. It is three smart points per tablespoon, so it's one point per teaspoon, which is fine. Um, these rice packets were included in the 188 sale, so I got a basmati one. This is six points per cup. I got a cheesy, creamy, a creamy, cheesy one for my kids. That's seven points per cup. And I got one of the jasmine, which was seven points per cup. Three points for half a cup for those. I found these in my local Dollar Tree. And I actually, I am putting together a, a goodie basket for one of my friends here on YouTube. And if you see these, you will probably guess which one it's for. But I've never seen them bundled so small before. This is just um, a smaller bag of the pea crisps. It's 200 calories, and this whole bag is, I wrote on one of them, only six points. I know the other ones, um, the bigger bags, the whole bag is nine points, but if you just wanted to sit down with a whole bag, they're six points, so not bad. And when they're gone, they're gone, which is a lot less than what's in the bigger bags. I got some pumpkin some more hummus. This is two tablespoons for one point. This is my favorite flavor of hummus, so I bought that. I got some coleslaw mix. I'm going to try and make the crack slaw with the um, ground, the beefless ground that I got from uh, Gardein, so I'm going to make that. I bought this. I was going to buy the plain, the regular original flavor. This is the same stuff that I had. Um, last night I had the sesame garlic or the sesame ginger or whatever it was. This one was Thai basil, which I thought looked delicious. So I'm going to try this one. It is four points for 3.2 ounces. I got some baby potatoes. Um, these I'm going to have tonight with the chicken, tofu, and, um, shake and bake. Two smart points for a quarter of this, three smart points for a third of the pouch. Anybody who does not know, they're just little teeny baby potatoes. So just little. Comes with a little seasoning packet, which I never use. I have like a hundred of them in my cupboard. I just save them for other things. And this is actually microwavable. I have never microwaved these either. Um, the only reason I buy them like this is because it's the only small potatoes I can find in my grocery store. I actually just throw them in my cast iron skillet and bake them in the oven. So that's what we're having for supper. 
I'll show you that in a minute because it's really cute. I bought some of these Tofurky um, Italian sausages. These are six points a piece. However, if you look, 30 grams of protein in one link. So that's pretty awesome. And you could eat just one link with a bunch of vegetables and be fully satisfied and have tons of protein. So six points a piece for those. I bought another can of light coconut milk. The whole can is 14 points. <laughs> These are, I stopped at my grandparents and got some tomatoes because they are swimming in them. So I bought, grabbed a couple uh, big ones and a lot of cherry tomatoes because my kids eat them like candy. Strawberries. I found these, and now technically these are not vegan food. Um, there is gelatin in here. That doesn't bother me. Um, and my kids really like these, and we found them at the dollar store. So I bought them. I won't eat them while I'm doing strict vegan, but after I incorporate, or if I incorporate meat and eggs back in, I will eat one. They'd be really good with that chocolate dessert hummus that I found the other day, um, or some peanut butter. Uh, these are two points per roll. I found some coconut chips. Now everybody has been talking about coconut chips and how high they are. They are vegan, dairy-free. It is six points for half of this pouch, and this is a 1.4 ounce pouch. But just to sprinkle on with my oatmeal or some fruit or something, I'd be okay with that. I got some shredded carrots. I found these. I've had the quinoa sticks before, um, but I've never seen the superfood sticks, mean and green. Um, green vegetables, green pea, flour, kale powder, spinach powder, powder, sunflower or safflower oil, dehydrated potato, rice flour, uh, yellow corn flour, potato starch, and sea salt. So those looked delicious. It is four smart points for 35 pieces, so not bad if you wanted to cut that in half and do, I don't know, 17 pieces for two points. Would be good with lunch, so I got those. I got a big sack of kale. We're going to make some kale chips, and I had a couple other recipes that I wanted to make kale with. And then I bought some more of these Gardein chicken tenders. These are delicious. They are really, really, really good. And one point per tender. They've been really good for me to kind of eat on salads and stuff. Um, they did not have the fish today. It was all gone. Or I think when I saw the fish, it was out at our other big local chain grocery store. Um, they did not have any of the fish, the faux fish fillets at my store today. So then I'm going to show you some fun, a fun thing I got. I found this little guy at the Dollar Tree. I got a purple one for us, and we got one, a green one for my mom. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these, but we collect them. We have them all on our window sills um, over here, and then on this window sill over here. Hold on, I'm shutting the window. Oh. We have some in this window. So we love to collect them. My mom has a window full in her apartment too. So we found the little scarecrows and they looked so cute. Um, and then I did buy two more pouches, two more boxes of water enhancers. And that is it. Everything you see here is what I bought at the grocery store today. I did buy some coffee creamer for my husband and some milk for my kids, but I already put those in the fridge. Everything here cost me about $126. So not overly terrible, seeing the vegan food is pretty expensive. I bought three of them and they were all... Um, the sausage was $4.99, the chicken was $3.99, and the 
Jardine products were all $4.29 at my store today. So, I mean, not terribly bad for what I picked up. I am going to get this stuff put away, and I will see you guys later. Have a great day.